Hey folks, if you're ready to go turkey hunting, you might want to watch this video. I'm going to show you some of the things I'm doing to get ready for the upcoming turkey season. Well, while I was getting the truck ready, Grayson decided to grab the camera and shoot his own intro for this video. Here to wake up at 6 in the morning to put some trail cams out. We got the gator right here. And we're about to go to the hunt club, put some trail cameras out for turkey season. And my dad's about to get the truck, so yeah. Well, we finally got all the gear loaded up and we're heading down the road to the turkey woods. You know the deal, you got the gate. Yep. I feel like I need to stretch after waking up at 6 in the morning. One of the first steps to manhood in the country is being able to open the gate. And that's where Grayson's been for a couple of years. Remember how to get the gates down? Yeah, of course I do. While you hate that your kids get older, it's kind of cool when they can start doing some stuff to help out. It makes getting stuff done a lot easier out here in the woods. Wait, my hands won't freeze off. Yeah, it's not super cold. It's just when the gator's running, the hands get cold. Putting Grayson in charge of driving, that way he can keep his hands warm. Uh, it's about three weeks before turkey season comes in. So what we're going to do is we've got some trail cameras. We're going to take them out and set them up on some food plots so that by the time turkey season comes around, we can see what birds we got coming into which food plots and hopefully help narrow down which ones to pick. We've got a lot of food plots on our land. Uh, we've got about 10,000 acres, uh, about 100 different food plots scattered around. So uh, not all of them are created equal. So uh, there's different ones bring in birds better than other ones. So. A little bit of scouting, uh, a little bit of pre-season scouting, and uh, put some cameras out, give us some intel, help to narrow things down on where we're going to hunt at on uh, opening day of youth weekend. These are some of our better food plots for drawing in the turkeys. The turkeys really like this chufa. You can see right here, guys, where these turkeys have been scratching around in this stuff. All in through here. All right, folks, so this is one of our chief of food plots right here. Looks like a whole bunch of crap, I know. It's not green. I ain't got no good color, but it's got this. That's where turkeys have been scratching in this stuff. They love chufa. They love scratching it up. You see some of these old places here where they've been popping it up. It's the uh, crack candy for turkeys. They love this stuff. It's scattered out here. It's kind of a little seed pod underground right there. Some good stuff. There's some turkey where they've been scratching. Some turkey poop, which is what we're looking for. And Grayson with the hiccups. <laughs> Another place where they've been into it. Good shot here. Good scraping place here. Good turkey poop right there. This place has everything you want. Well, we got that track of land checked out, so we loaded the gator back up and headed off to another track to have a look around. All right, folks, we're on another track of land. Uh, this one has a long power line that runs through it. Uh, we've got several food plots on this power line. Behind me is a chufa plot. We're going to see if there's any turkey sign in this one. All 
Alright, this Chufa patch is a good example of, for whatever reasons, the birds ain't hitting it. So what we're going to do is jump in the gator, ride down the power line a half mile or so, check out another one, see if it's any different down there. Now this one has a lot more sign on it. You can see where these birds have been in here scratching a lot more. More turkey poop right there. Right around where they've been scratching and all this. Well, this is what I was saying about some of the plots. They're not all created equal. These chief of patches and food plots. Some of them the birds hit, some of them they don't. So it pays to get out, do a little looking around, see what's going on. Something I kind of learned here early on. I'm a new turkey hunter, only been hunting about five years and uh, I've learned it pays if you got the time to get here do a little bit of looking it'll save you some trouble come opening day here again this food plot's a great example of a place that looks really good nice and green but there is no turkey sign in it whatsoever well we looked around didn't see a lot in this one so we probably won't be hunting here Well folks, I hope some of you can learn something from this video. Like I said, I'm no expert turkey hunter. I'm new to this. So this is geared more for you guys that are new at it. I'm sure you veteran turkey hunters know all this stuff and are probably think some of this stuff's a little bit silly. But for us new guys who haven't been doing it that long, some of this information, stuff that may help us get a bird, and I want to be able to share what I'm learning with you guys. If you like these videos, please stay tuned. I'm gonna do more of them through turkey season and also later in the fall during deer season. And if you really like the videos, hit subscribe and hit that little bell and you'll be notified when any new videos come out. We'll see you in the woods.